It is engineering the most exciting department in, in the university? Well, obviously, I think that's the case. Otherwise, I wouldn't be working there. Um, I think Oxford is one of the most exciting places to be an engineer. I think it's a, a very dynamic department um, that is not at all stuck in its ways. It um, reinvents itself continually. Uh, and one of the highlights this year has been the opening of the Osney Thermofluids Laboratory, uh, where I'm sitting at the moment. And uh, in the laboratory, uh, there is extremely important work for the aerospace industry. The trouble is that at present, jet engines operate such that the, the gas temperature of, of the, the burning fuel is several hundred degrees hotter than the melting temperature of the blades that are used in the engine. So the only way it works is if you can cool the blades. And every fraction of a percent that you can increase the efficiency is worth millions. Also, I, I've got uh, quite a uh, large and, and growing group working on tidal power. During the last year, we've spun out a company to develop a particular type of tidal turbine. Well, research on renewable energy is important. We really must get away from our addiction to hydrocarbons. We, we happen to be lucky that we're surrounded by sea in which there are rather large tides, which could contribute um, a useful fraction to the UK's electricity supply. Another exciting area has been the work that's been led by Paul Newman on um, robotically navigating vehicles. He has um, a fantastic research vehicle, uh, which is called the Wildcat. Uh, it's a rather mean-looking black 4x4 uh, with uh, on board uh, a phenomenal amount of computing power, and uh, that is currently being driven around the roads of Oxfordshire, gathering data which would uh, allow it to learn about its environment and be able to navigate. I hasten to say at the moment it is being driven by a real driver. People might get the idea that all, all cars are going to be robotic. That's not the immediate future. Um, the, the sort of step that can be made is that a lot of journeys um, involve, for instance, motorway driving. Motorway driving is actually fairly straightforward um, and very, very dull. So you could imagine a vehicle that could take over when you were on a motorway, but once you got off the motorway, it would be driven by a human. So I think the, the future has interesting possibilities.